Good morning, YouTube. What's up? Well, yes, I am in the truck. You guessed that right. Good job. Um, which typically means what? Uh, what a workout. Gonna go get my fit on. So, uh, <laughs> hope you all are doing well. Um, I'm loving the weather so far today. Um, where I'm at, it's supposed to get back up into like the low 90s for today and tomorrow. But uh, after that, we're going to get back into more fall light temperatures with uh, upper 60s, low to mid 70s, something like that. And I know you're sitting here going, oh yeah, I clicked onto this video to get the weather forecast somewhere that I probably don't live. <laughs> but anyway, I just... I'm excited about it, okay? Give me a break. Uh, I am heading over to work out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, so what's going on is, and, and I've said this in a couple of workout videos recently, uh, <clears throat> is I have another strongman competition the end of October in about two, three weeks, something like that. And, uh, uh, I haven't really been training. Maybe two or three weeks ago, I started training, something like that. Um, I had a competition back in June, which was a very heavy competition. And I've had some issues with my hip area. Um, we've ruled out some things. And then I just went to a doctor um, was it Thursday. I think it was Thursday. Um, and I'm, I've ruled out Okay, I know you probably don't want to hear this, but and just to, for happenstance, let me get it off my chest. Um, originally, I thought that I had been dealing with some pain for a little bit. Originally, I thought that maybe I had a hernia on my right side. <clears throat> well, no hernia on my right side. I mean, that's where a lot of my pain was coming from. But... Uh, there was the thought that maybe I pulled a ligament or tore a muscle in that area. So I had one MRI done. And, you know, the results of that was that uh, they couldn't tell as far as the right side goes. They did see a little bit of a hernia tear on the left side, but they weren't too concerned about that one. So then um, I went to a, a an orthopedic specialist who had me do another MRI where <laughs> the first thing he did was he strapped me to a table and he pulled out this big two, three long inch needle and then just jabbed me in my right hip socket and squirted this dye in there, which was the most unique, weird, weirdest thing I've ever had happen to me as far as that goes. I mean, he literally felt around, looked for the best location, and then stuck this damn needle in me. And I thought I was going to freaking leap out of my skin. But I got through it. The nice thing about that is that that gave it, a, with a dye packet in it, uh, it, it gave a lot more detail with that MRI uh, because of that dye solution. And really, no rips, no tears, everything looked beautiful <clears throat> and so still kind of figure out what the pain was so I went back to my primary and then he think maybe something was wrong with the boys maybe I got some urological going on I don't know so I just went and saw that doctor physical exam went great uh, he, he bought me dinner first so it was nice but um, he, he, everything was great they're going to go ahead and have me do, which I have never heard of this, a testicle ultrasound. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's just do it to rule it out. So I'll be having that done just to verify nothing's wrong with the boys. And then um, we'll go from there. 
the that doctor he he actually said the hernia on my left side kind of feeling that area and making me cough and, and looking at the MRI images he said he goes I think that that hernia on the left side's actually gotten bigger and that might be what's causing you the issues so um, he is recommending that I have surgery um, he said right now it just seems like some some fatty tissue is poking out of that breakage uh, which is causing me the pain um, and so the only time that that's going to be crucial is if you have an organ like an intestine or something like that poking out because that can cause sepsis and a whole lot of other issues and he said well, I really need to get that taken care of so um, I'm going to have this competition in the next few weeks uh, and then my plan is to have that surgery and get that hernia completed saying all of that which you probably didn't want to hear a bunch of medical stuff on someone you don't really even know uh, except through YouTube is the fact that from June until about three or four weeks ago I hadn't trained I didn't know what was wrong with me I didn't know if I was going to um, make the situation worse so I have been kind of just working out but with kind of more of the, the low weight heavy reps kind of regimen and uh you know it, it's kept me up to a degree of staying you know healthy and in shape but nothing to help me with my strength training so um you know what I, i'm gonna do the cool thing about strongman and if you've never done strongman or if you have done strongman put it down in the comments below the cool thing about this sport and I see this in some other sports too the cool thing about strongman is that it doesn't matter if you're at the pinnacle pinnacle of your health most of the time you go into these events hurt anyway kind of reminds me of my old jujitsu MMA days you're never a hundred percent so get that out of your mind if you think you're gonna go to an event a hundred percent you are smoking something that probably should be illegal. But the cool thing is, is the support, the family-like atmosphere that are at these competitions. You know, maybe last time you were able to deadlift 500 plus pounds. But for whatever reason, like my situation, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I've never trained with a power bar before, and I don't know the flexibility of it. Um, so this will be kind of a new adventure for me. But but I'm just gonna go have fun, do the best I can. You know what? If I, if I'm able to uh, get on the podium, great. If I'm not, great. Uh, it is a fun time to go hang out with people that I love who love the sport, who love getting together and trying, because at, at the end of the day, and I think I've said this before, when you're doing strongman, you are, it is a competition. You are competing against someone else. There's gonna be a first, second, third place. But at the end of the day, the one who you're competing against the most is yourself. And I think that's that's kind of like a, a saying for life, really. I mean. As you go on about your day and the jobs that you do and the people you interact with is you're competing against yourself. How are you going to be the best you possible? And that's part of the whole reason why I started this channel after a bunch of encouragement from my daughter is that I don't care that I'm over 50. I want to be the best version of myself possible. I want to push myself to the limit. I want to live. I want to try new things and and I would just, it was kind of funny. I just saw something the other day. There, there's an area where I live where semi trucks keep trying to turn down this one street. Well, it, at, the, at the beginning of this turn, there's a whole bunch of like rocks and decorative crap. Well, these damn semis, there's a sign that says no semi trucks, but they still do it anyway. But if they don't take that turn correctly, they're gonna go over that embankment and they're gonna wind up dragging their, their truck your trailer on one of these boulders or rocks and drag it and um, 
we were just leaving there the other day and there was this, it was, you know, it wasn't, wasn't like mammoth size, but I would say probably there was a big old rock that was maybe two to 300 pounds that a semi truck had dragged, I don't know, probably 20 feet down the road. And the first thing that pops in my head is, ooh, I'd like to pick that up. <laughs> and my daughter was like, what? I said, I'm sorry, Lon. That's what happens when you become a strong man is, is you see stuff like that and it becomes a personal challenge. Can I pick that up? And, you know, in a lot of ways, that's how strong man started was it was a challenge on yourself to become a man was you needed to go and pick this up and you needed to throw this and you needed to do this. And I think that carries over to, you know, today is, is it's challenging yourself and you know so I want you folks who are watching I don't care how old you are especially the people over 50 challenge yourself put down that damn cell phone and I know you're probably holding one right now maybe watching this video or a different video you know to turn the TV off uh, put the laptop down or the iPad or whatever device you have you know it's it's good to to monitor that and and you know it, the technology is awesome and to be on that kind of stuff and do some cool things that we couldn't have done 20 30 40 50 years ago but get off of it every now and then and challenge yourself do something go to the gym uh go take a walk in nature go hiking uh i mean there's a lot of things you can do that you don't need to pay money for walking is free so get up and do something, especially you folks over 50, because I'm telling you what, the, the older I get and the more I train, I have really realized that exercise in whatever form you enjoy is the fountain of youth. Um, you see so many people who are bent over with their backs, they have poor posture, uh, their strength is depleted, they have lost a ton of muscle mass. I mean, these are people who you can tell who is going to the silver sneakers workout gym and, and who's not. I mean, it is evident. But I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, exercise is the fountain of youth. And if, if you want to live a healthier, longer life, and that doesn't mean you're going to kill over for one reason or another, but you're going to have a higher percentage of a healthier better life if you get out and do something so that's what i'm gonna try and encourage you guys to do challenge yourself be your biggest opponent and go out there and do something that you've never done before go out and do something active to get that blood pumping through your heart um i really just can't say enough about that so i'm gonna end this here this this little intro was a lot longer than I had planned. I apologize for that, but yet I don't. Because I think that's an important message. So, we're going to go get a little bit of training in um, today. Primarily, I want to work with the log. Log lift. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And for this event, you have a choice. You can use the axle overhead press. Or you can do the log lift overhead press and I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use yet over at my work gym uh, we have an axle bar that I've been training with and then over at my other gym that I'm going to right now uh, we have a log and so I have not decided <clears throat> what I'm going to enter the competition with yet um, I like both they both have their advantages they both have their disadvantages the the process is a little bit different and getting the, the implement up to the rack position to be able to then push over your head. So I don't know. I still don't know. It's almost kind of like the presidency. I have no idea who I'm freaking voting for. But you know what? I'm not going to talk about it except for that little piece because it's none of your business, to be honest with you. Just like I hate all these celebrities who are like, I'm endorsing this person. I'm endorsing that person. Who gives a flying flip? I'm not making my choice off of your choice. So, uh, you know what? I just I just don't know. I don't know what implement I'm going to use, and I don't know where I'm going to go from there. So, 
That's the point of training, is what do you feel comfortable with at that point in time? So, all right, I'm here. I'm gonna get everything settled and then um, I'll get back with you. Peace for a minute. Okay, so with that long intro, 
I, uh, with that long intro, I jumped right into the log overhead press. Uh, so, so it was, as you can tell, I'm out of breath. It's, it's a booger. It is a booger. Again, after doing that, I'm still undecided. What am I gonna actually lift in the competition? So far, I haven't broke over 200 for either the axle or the log. So I think that may be the qualifiers, is what do I actually do over 200? Because at the end of the day, in competition, you're always going to lift a little bit more because you're so pumped up and the crowd's cheering for you and it's always a great event. But, I don't know. Part of it is my training has sucked. But again, I can't let that get me down because it is what it is. I mean, I, I had some medical issues and I just need to do the best that I can and have fun. So, um... I don't even know what time it is. I'm a little on the clock because I'm going to go get my hair cut afterwards. But, uh, um, all right, let's go do the next thing. I think we're going to go do some lap pull downs.
Okay, guys. <sighs> Training session is done. Um, so we were able to get our main lift in with the log. We were able to go and do some, uh, uh, basically some machine overhead press. Um, that led us to uh, that kind of like that weird angle uh, row. And then um, I tried, uh, basically it's, it's, an, it's a uh, bent over row apparatus um, that I've never used before, but it, it, it really was cool. I liked it. Um, what else did we do? I think I went from there to, uh, I think from there we went to, uh, to, uh, oh, the lap pull down. Duh. So, all right. Well, I'm done. You guys be good. Be awesome. Oh, man. I'm tired. Sorry, I didn't get a lot of talking in today. Well, I kind of did at the very beginning. So I think that that kind of went through it. Um, I don't know, I mean, I am not a professional. I am an amateur athlete who is just trying to stay young and healthy and strong. Um, but if you guys ever want me to like kind of explain and go through the motions of uh, a lift that I'm doing, let me know in the comment section and I'll try and do a better uh, tutorial on that. Um, but overall, you saw what I did. Feel free to take that um, and duplicate it. Most of the accessory stuff that I did after the log was pretty much uh, either three sets of eight or three sets of 10 or four sets of eight or four sets of 10. I, I kind of lost track. I, I, I didn't really uh, journal any of that stuff, but that's, but that's one other important thing I want to leave you with to kind of track your progress. It's really important to journal. I know a lot of people will journal their macros and stuff, especially if you're trying to maintain or lose weight, but you know, for your fitness journey, if you're, if you're wanting to get stronger, if you're wanting to increase the strength, the amount of weights that you're lifting, it's really important to journal to know what you've done. Um, a lot of times I'll either go up five or 10 pound increments uh, every time I lift. Sometimes my body's ready for it and sometimes it's not. Uh, there are days where one day I can lift 200 pounds, the next day I can lift 150. So, you know, it all depends. But you know, I'm gonna wrap this up. It's probably been way too long. So you guys go out there. Find your fountain of youth. Be good to folks. And at the end of the day, get your fit on. Whoosh.